Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the children's size Palcom KN95. These according to the listing are made with the new GB2626 2019 standard that should provide a better breathability. We're going to be testing that out today with our TSI machine. Let's go over the listing really quick before I try them on. So here is the listing. We did purchase these from Bonafide Mask. They currently have a 5 out of 5 rating with 1,290 92 reviews. The price for a 10 pack is currently $13, making them $1.30 each. Let's go ahead and try one on. I do want to point out that on their packaging, it doesn't state that they are a children's face mask, but on the listing, as you guys saw, it does say that they are a children's size face mask. And as you guys can see, these things are tiny. They are probably perfect for a maybe seven year old and under. This is how they look. Pretty solid nose wire. It's not flimsy. This is how it looks from the inside. Let's go ahead and look at the straps. So let's go ahead and try one on. I am going to flatten out the nose wire before I place it. And this makes it a lot easier for me to adjust the nose wire to my face. So the first thing that I am going to point out is the collapse here. It does have a really big collapse. And like I mentioned, it does have a nice wire, but somehow I'm still getting leakage through the nose bridge so these are quite small and they don't fit my face properly but it is because they are a children's size but with that being said let's go ahead and see how they test on our tsi machine we're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the breathability here is our TSI machine model 8130A. This is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the headband from the mask before placing it onto the testing plate. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 96.72% with a pressure drop of 19.5. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.82 and a pressure drop of 19.9. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.68 and had a pressure drop of 20.3 millimeters of water. So overall, these do have a high construction quality and the fit, like I said, it didn't fit me properly, but it could probably fit a seven year old or under. In terms of the filtration efficiency, these KN95 tested pretty well. However, the pressure drop was quite high. The threshold for KN95s is 210 pascals and the highest pressure drop was 199 from one of the samples that we tested. They do fall right under the standard, but ultimately we have tested more breathable KN95s and especially for kids, you do want these masks to be breathable because they're going to be running around and playing around. So you do want a mask that is breathable for your kid. I really hope that you find these videos helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or just any content that you would like to see on our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in our description box, like our website, which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.